Let's see how to create component with animation for Framer with ChatGPT 03. Today, let's see how to create a component in Framer with animation with ChatGPT 03 mini. And uh, first of all, I want to introduce you to this page. It's called 21 set uh, dev. Uh, it's a lot of animation here that you can use for your project, not only for Framer, but also for your website. You can click and download them. Uh, for example, I found this animation, this one from uh, Bondi. Uh, here there is uh, one animation that I like. This one, the text that's running on the interface. I will click on that. And then we are in the page that uh, we have all the code. If I want, I can copy it to another application. I will do a video about that next time, but today let's focus on Framer. And imagine that you work on your portfolio and want to add this cool animation to your portfolio, but you are not a developer. You don't know how to do it. What you can do is to copy these two files, this one and that one, demo uh, TSX and Marquee FX uh, TSX to ChatGPT and ask it to create a component for you in Framer. Now, I am not a developer, and I trust ChatGPT that will do the work for me. So I don't want to start to think if I need the two files or only one file. What I do now, I copy both of them to ChatGPT and ask it to create a framer component for me. Let's see how it's looking ChatGPT. I use here ChatGPT 03 Mini High. This is the most powerful that I have here. I not have the pro plan, but only the plus, but it will be enough to create a component. So I copy the both files. It is important to know that you cannot copy files now in ChatGPT, maybe in the future. So what I did, I copy the information in the file and I said here, file number one and below the file. And if I go down, there is the file number two. As you can see here, I copied the information just like that. Go here to 25 set dev, copy code, paste that in the chat and that's all, run it. So it's give me a result. This is the result it gave me. I copy from here and go to Framer. Here we are in Framer. I click here on the plus button, new code file, give it a name, and then let's give it a name test, then create and paste here the information. Okay, now it will create this component as you can see here test. And if I go to home, I will be able to take this one, add it here, and you can see the effect. If I run it, you will see that it's cut. It's not take all the screen. It's not work as we want. Also, I cannot change the parameters like the typography and more parameters. So I tell the chat, add to the UI options that, that you can change the color and the text and the typography, also the color of the breakout. Now I start to iterate. The chat will not understand everything from one prompt. So the iteration is necessary. One thing that I want to say that I use here the ChatGPT O3 Mini High. I wanted to test it, but also with uh, not the most powerful model like 4.0 or I believe I can get the same result, but I wanted to test the mini high. So I said it to the chat and then again, copy paste. Now I add all the iteration here. You can see this was the second iteration, paste it here. And then it gave me this component, as you can see this, this one. If I click, I have the options to change the text, change the colors and the font family. But the problem in the font family here is it's an input and not a select component. Not very comfortable. Just let you see before you continue. This is the component. Another thing that you can see that the uh, animation is cut in the middle of the screen and I didn't like it, save it again, change. I open again ChatGPT, I said it perfect, now makes these changes. I will be able to select the typography with the select component. I will be able to select the typography weight. Uh, the animation needs to move from side to side to entire screen. Run, it's, here's the code, copy paste again, it's open here, it was that component. And then I go here, you can see this is the third component. I have the weights font family, font size, but the thing is that I cannot see here the text. Although if I, if you see here, you will see all, all the text that's running. You can see that the information move side to side. Okay. And then I want to make more changes. I move to the chat, continue to iterate. Let's go where it, the place again. Now I set it for perfect. Now these changes, the text must be in one line always in the edit screen frame where I cannot see the text what we saw now, and I need to select font available. Again, continue to iterate, copy paste, and I get this component, okay? So first of all, you can see that component that everything is one line now, but I had uh, more problems now that uh, the typography didn't change well, and the weight was not clear. So I wanted to continue to iterate. At the end, 
with all the iterations, I get this component that I can change the typography. I can change the font weight. I can change the font size. I also ask it to change the line height so I can make it more thin or more robust. And I can click play with the velocity. It's something that I didn't show before. So let's see, let's reduce the velocity a little bit. This was the last component, as you can see here. Okay, this is a little bit fast, but you understand the point. The more iteration that I wanted to do is that the text will not finish always. It will be, work like circles. So this may be the next iteration that I, that I will do. But I think for this video, understand the point, how to do it. Be aware that a part of that in the 21 set dev, you had much more complex animations. If I go here, you can see it more with animation, with this robot, something more complex, but I believe it's also possible to do it with Framer. And here there is some more files, as you can see here. So it will be more work, but possible to do. And then I'm sure that with time, the models will be much, much stronger and we will be able to do this thing in a very easy way. So this is all for today. Give it a shot. It is a great way to add animation to your portfolio and it's very easy as you saw. If you have some questions, drop in the comments. That's all for today. If you need a product designer for your product or wants to understand how to integrate AI into your company, reach out to my information in the description. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.